Once again together with this powerful, marvelous 21 day fast of Daniel. For those who are thirsty, for those who want to have an inner change, it is easy to change outside, to be changed outside. A person can change the color of his hair, even the color of the skin, the color of the eyes, the way you talk, express yourself. You can change all these things. You can lose, you can gain weight. However, the inner transformation, only the Holy Spirit can do it. There is no uh, uh, plastic surgery. There is no surgery, no doctor, no pill, magic pill that can change a person inside. Only the Spirit of God. And the aim of this 21 day is to bring to you the reality. Because many have been put on a mask. Yes, like a makeup, a mask. Wherever you go, you have to put a different mask. Are you not fed up of it? How many masks do you have at home? You have to put one to go to work, another one to enter your house when you come back from your work, another one to go to school, and you have that smiley face. I mean, smiley mask when you go to the parties. Everybody thinks that you are happy, but you know deep inside of you, you are sad, you are frustrated. Let us read it together what the scripture says. This is what it says. For I will pour on him who is thirsty and the floods on the dry ground. If you are thirsty, he is going to pour the water, the water of the spirit, and he is going to put there a flood on the dry ground. He said, I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. My blessing, his blessing is his spirit. In a few, I'm going to ask God to pour his spirit. I am going to ask God to pour his presence upon your life. And right now, whether you have been good or a bad person, Right now, when I call upon his name, the Holy Spirit will fill your heart. He promised, I will pour my spirit, and he will do so right now. Let us watch together this testimony. This lady that was rude to people. She did not know how to forgive. She was a kind of person that used to push people away. But now... With the Holy Spirit, there was an inner transformation, and she became a different person. Hi, my name is Rasha, and before receiving the Holy Spirit, I was always rude to people. I didn't like people. I um, and I always put them down in a way. I try to be honest, but I was always too honest, as they said. I. Um, I just wasn't, I felt like I wasn't the kind of person you want to be around. I was weird, I was different, I thought I was different. Um, even like with friends, like when they did something to me, I would take it to the grave and I would never forgive them for it even though they apologized and it just goes on for everyone. The vast of Daniel was a little difficult for me because I was just so attached to social media. I would always just want to be on social media. It was just a place where you go, you get to see different things, places that you want to do, be at, or things that you want to eat. So it was like a social environment that I got trapped in. So doing the fast of Daniel, I had to remove myself from that environment. And to do so, it was a little difficult, but I, when I continued to do the fast of Daniel, I just, 
and decided to let it go. So I started coming on Wednesdays for the 8 p.m. services. As I started to come over time, I started to engage more in the church. I started to read my Bible more. As I continued to read the Bible, I realized God was speaking to me and a lot of things that were in the Bible reflect in my life. So I continued to read and then during the course, I received the Holy Spirit during um, after one of those meet after a Wednesday meeting. So after that, my life just drastically changed. After receiving the Holy Spirit, it was just different because now I learned to forgive. I learned not to judge people. I learned to be myself because. God made me. But as I continue to do the fast of Daniel, I just continue seeing the different changes that my life didn't have to be revolved around social media, that I can do everything discreetly and that everyone needs to know my business and my personal life. And I don't need to see other people's business or their personal life. Um, but doing the fast of Daniel really helped me. It helped um, humble myself and it changed me drastically. You see, the Holy Spirit changed herself inside. There was an inner change. But she said some things that are very important. She said that she prayed more. She went more to the church. She read the Bible. In other words, it was less of herself and more of God. And this is what we are going to do right now. We are going to call the Spirit of God to come upon you. If you change inside, outside you are going to change and you are going to be a different person. Just after this beautiful song, I'll be back together with you seeking the Holy Spirit. Then sings my soul. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, we pray in this very moment. You said, seek me, and you shall find me when you seek me with all your heart. I know, my Lord, many people have been seeking you without finding you because they do not seek with all their heart. But right now, there are people seeking you with all their heart. And I ask you, my Lord, in this fifth day of our fasting, feel this person. When you enter one's body, there is a change inside. You change the spirit inside. Lord, dwell inside of this person right now. Oh, my friends, wherever you are, I give you now a chance. In your own words, speak to God. You can talk to him right now. He is listening to you. A Holy Spirit, we give glories to your name because right now many people are receiving your power and your spirit. I give glories to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The presence of God is within you. Did you feel something? 
Did you touch something? No. I am not feeling anything, but I know the presence of God is inside of me and is there inside of you. This is our fifth day on the fasting of Daniel. Tomorrow again, I will be back here together with you, talking more about the Holy Spirit and seeking Him. If you have any doubts concerning the Holy Spirit, about your spiritual life, you can email me, bbf at universal.org. From all over the world, wherever you are, you can email me. I will be glad to answer you. May the God of the Bible bless all of you. Then sings my soul, my soul.